Hello Campus Party Singapore. This is Gabe speaking to you from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. I have just returned from Campus Party Natal. We had a wonderful time. The event is spectacular. I know the one in Singapore will be equally fun. I'm looking so forward to participating. I hope you'll come and visit and come and see the Singapore Campus Party. I was speaking to you about the shuttle, about the astronauts on the space station, about missions to Mars, about the future of the space program with astronauts going to Mars, but I will really talk to you about dreams and goals and enjoying life. So I would like to say to you, have a wonderful day. I will look forward to seeing you very soon. And, and for me, I like to always say uh, stress steam instead of STEM. I think it's so important because a lot of times you say math and science, it turns a lot of people off and it really shouldn't do that. If you involve the arts, it encompasses everybody. Plus the end product is always better. So most of the time it involves patience, trial and error, uh, making sure everything is safe. I think that's the most important thing people don't understand about NASA, how important safety is. Safety is the primary issue. Uh, they try to avoid all accidents at all costs. I think the real world problem going to Mars is simply uh, the vastness of it. It's going to take between seven and eight months to get to Mars. So in that seven and eight months, we're going to be in a capsule. And that capsule will have to stay mentally and physically alert. Uh, I think health is the biggest thing. Again, mental and physical health. You have to maintain that. Once we get to Mars, we've got to stay there for 23 months before we come back. So you're going to have to be a lot of stuff pre-staged at Mars. So the first group of astronauts probably will be like a construction crew. They'll have to build a place to live. They'll have to build a place where they can take off their spacesuit and be able to function somewhat in a normal environment. And they're going to be there for 23 months. I think with living on Mars, one of the most difficult things is the atmosphere. We can't breathe there, you know, and the temperature are extreme. It's very cold there uh, since it's further from the sun. So it's just a matter of trying to adapt into that environment. Again, trying to build some sort of habitat where it will be temperature, humidity controlled with an environment where astronauts can live and function without a spacesuit in somewhat uh, of a similar uh, lifestyle as they would on Earth because they're going to be there for two years. It was a privilege for me to be a part of that group for 14 years. What we did within that group was look at people, and I always say differently abled. I don't say disabled. I don't say handicapped. I always say differently abled. So we look at people who had jobs on the Space Center who were differently abled, whether they be in a wheelchair or whether they had hidden agendas, just all the things they had to come on a day-to-day -day basis. And when the group was comprised mainly of the people who were differently abled. So we got first-hand knowledge. And then we would try to figure out you know, how do we overcome the obstacles that they have on a day-to-day -day basis? And the one thing I learned more than anything from this group is that anything is possible. Uh, they have the greatest attitude, never feel sorry for themselves, never complain. Just awesome, awesome role models for all of us. I don't really get to work with NASA scientists too much, but, but I do so much with schools, and I was involved with one school that won a contest to have an experiment flown on the space station. And their experiment was to grow lettuce. So through the school and me coordinating with different agencies in NASA, we were able to connect with a mission specialist at NASA who was actually going to track that mission when it went to space. So we got to spend some time talking with her and how to help them prepare their experiments. That was really a fun thing for me to get involved with. because I want kids to know that life can be fun. You know, we should always enjoy everything we do. We should look forward to each day. You know, I have three things I try to tell kids, you know, and everybody, do your best, enjoy what you do, believe in yourself. If you can combine those three, you're gonna have such a happy life and life should be enjoyed. I don't think it's, kids get to hear that enough. So when I'm with the youth, this is what I stress. This is what I let them know. I also let them know about my background, which I mentioned earlier, how I hated at school and how I did poorly at everything. So I always say, look, if I did it, so can you. They're dedicated, they're determined, they want to be successful. And I travel all around the world, so I see it everywhere I go. I don't have any concern about the kids for today. I think they're just going to do fine, and they will contribute to society just like the rest of us did, just in a different type of way. 
travel. I think one of the limiting factors, the most limiting factors with space travel is how long it takes to get anywhere. So right now the biggest effort is to how can we increase the speed, not 10 times, but maybe a thousand times in order to get places. It takes 10 years to get to Pluto. So we can't possibly think about sending somebody in a ship to exist for 10 years in transit. So a lot of things are gonna have to change over the next maybe 50 or even 100 years before things are really, really, maybe where we can go to other planets besides Mars. You know, you have to be determined, you have to be goal oriented and you have to be able to be a team person. I think those are three critical things that apply to everything we do. And it's so important to learn to get along. When I talk to kids, I tell them all the time, you know, most adults don't know how to get along. If as kids you can learn to get along, bring that into an adulthood, it's going to make your life so much better. But I would say excellent leadership, it's exciting, and it's always fun.